here at Respect the Dead, if you give us a five-star review, we'll sometimes read them out on the podcast. (laughs) Emphasis on sometimes. (laughs) <laughs> and today I'm feeling very, very generous. So I'm actually going to read out two. The first five star review is from Luke from Las Vegas, titled Best Podcast. Shit. I'm going to put myself on Do Not Disturb Now. The first five star review comes from Luke from Las Vegas, and it's titled Best Podcast Ever. The teeth slide of Action Park is my sleep paralysis demon. (laughs) Thanks, Luke from Las Vegas. Uh, Enjoy the nightmares, bestie. Glad you're having fun. The second review I'm reading out comes from Arbonne B. Or Rabumb? Or Arbonne B? I don't know. It's titled, A Fun Way to Cope. There are so many podcasts that talk about terrible people and terrible things that we have no individual power to change overnight. But this podcast allows me to look back on terrible people of the terrible past with the reassurance that they are terribly and deservedly dead. Five stars, no notes. Thanks, bestie. There is a happy ending to every episode, isn't there? All right, now on with the show. Welcome back to Respect the Dead, the podcast where we don't. Sweaty, it's no surprise that everyone celebrated your demise. And now, worms are eating your eyes. So don't you worry, rotting head, as you sleep in your sodden bed. It's time to respect the dead. That sounds like you. <laughs> it does sound like me, Kaylin, because it is. <laughs> <laughs> Who said somebody said that to me recently? Probably. Actually, I think it was not recently. It was in a podcast. <laughs> and it was you. <laughs> I was like, I wouldn't have done that. And you're like, yeah, Kaylin, we all know you wouldn't have done it. <laughs> yeah. It was like about doing like the right thing or something. <laughs> it was like admitting a mistake or like. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. I'm Hoots. I'm literally almost said I'm Mandy. <laughs> I'm Kaylin Conrad. Because I was like, I'm going to say, yes. Mandy, you in danger, girl. <laughs> I'm mainly Mandy. They're going to come take your place. <laughs> Hi, I'm mainly Mandy. <laughs> I'm Kaylin Conrad. I'm on Fries. <laughs> I wonder if our audience can tell which which episode is the last episode we record every time. What are you talking it's about? This oh God, for, it's this one for anyone fun. guessing. Yeah, it's been um, a long night. <laughs> Hi, this is Editing Hoots popping in. Um, I know it's really early in the episode, um, but we're really drunk. And at this point, Kaylin's boyfriend texted and we all said hi and... Um, it, it was pretty boring. We didn't talk about anything else. Certainly not uh, the length, girth, or texture of anybody's appendages. Okay, back to the episode. Speaking of big, veiny dicks, uh, do you know anything about Rasputin? I want to now. Yeah. <laughs> With this segue. What is the extent of your no- your Rasputin knowledge? <laughs> um, do you know the band Rasputina? Because I do. No. And that's my knowledge. But they probably <laughs> took their name from him. Mm-hmm. And they do look like they like big veiny dicks. No. <laughs> Who doesn't? They're they're giving like um olden timey goth vibes. And I'm like, all of all of us goths do love mm. a BVD. Rasputin does have some like goth vibes for sure. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Mandy. Did you have like? Did do you know anything about Rasputin at all? Yeah, I mean, I know a bit about um, the 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 fa- the Russian family and and all of that that happened and and that he was involved with them um, with their their deaths. And then he like, there's a lot of rumors about him having been killed several different ways before he finally actually died. Yeah, like he was like shot and hung and and then drowned. I think or maybe it's in a different order. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. I just heard he was hung. So like I know a bit about him, but I know it. The kind of I I mostly know about him in relation to the Anastasia movie, like the animated one from like the 90s. 
that's what I mostly know. That's what I was expecting. The what movie? The Anastasia. Anastasia. <laughs> I thought. I thought maybe you said anesthesia. Anesthesia, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, that, that classic '90s movie, that Russian name, anesthesia. anesthesia. <laughs> also, a beautiful name for a girl. A beautiful name for a girl. <laughs> anesthesia and and, her, and the sequel, anaphylactic shock. <laughs> oh my god, anaphylaxis! Oh my god, yes. Okay, that's cute. Beautiful yes. name. She's got that oh my god, I'm getting pregnant right now so that I can. <laughs> <laughs> name my baby, name my twin girls anesthesia and anaphylaxis. <laughs> um. Okay, but, but. Yes. Anna and Anna. But I love it. They have to be twins. They do. Yeah, of course. Clearly. Quick question. Quick question. You cut this out. Is it eugenics if you make twins on purpose? I like, think is that fine? but is that like bad eugenics? I feel like that's good eugenics. Is there good eugenics? Listen, if I could what choose if you, to make twins on What if you have two really purpose, cute names? If I could, if <laughs> what, I could choose. Okay, hold on. <laughs> what if I have two really cute names? Is <laughs> like, IVF. Then is eugenics okay? <laughs> is IVF not good eugenics? I don't know. Like I literally I just said I don't like... know what eugenics is. Why is nobody listening to me? Eugenics is also a really pretty name for a girl, but I feel like it's <laughs> Eugenics. I'm, sort of like, I'm leaving like, you're all not gonna of this name your, in. You're not going to name your baby Charles if your last name is Manson. It's just like there's some names that are off <laughs> You the can. Table, you can. And I think eugenics is one of them. That's why there haven't been any Adolfs recently. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I like, I don't know. Like, so I <laughs> I am not rich enough to to seek IVF, but I do have, like, uh, some friends that are older than me that are seeking IVF. And I need to ask them if you can choose twins because, like. That rules. I would love to have twins. Just like get it all out of the way, right? Like, yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, if it's okay, already that ripped open, thinking. like, yeah. If yeah. it's already ripped open, you're just, already like, doing it. Don't have to wait another like nine months. You can just like get get it all done okay, with. Okay. So, like, sometimes when I go to the grocery store, I'm like, should I just get stuff for this week? Mm-mm. Or should I, should I do get, a long like, shop? Or should I get like, should I get like 300 pounds of cans that I have to mm-hmm. carry? Yes. Home? Always. And I'm like, I should get the cans so that I don't order food. And then you order because, food. Because, like, it's better to hurt myself <laughs> now, like, dragging all this home and, like, tearing all the muscles in my yeah. shoulders open. Because I'm, like, walking down the street like a pack mule with, like, literally 200 <laughs> pounds of food. Uh, because it's better to do it all at once. And I think it's probably the same way with twins. And three days later, you're like, I don't want chili tonight. I'm going to order <laughs> fries. <laughs> I actually don't want what I got, which was like for some reason cream corn because I was high. I was like, why did I think that any of this was good? When have I ever eaten a pea? <laughs> like, I just got, I just got like five unseasoned bags of tuna. I don't know why I did this. Ew. Okay. Unseasoned bags of tuna, just, just like in a plastic Ziploc what? bag. No, like okay, a little number one, serving tuna bag. I am a vegan. I am a Viesler. Number two, they sell tuna in a bag. Yeah, why are you like, holding up your like... hand like it's a sack? <laughs> I didn't know. No, like a sack of flour. No, it's like a little, like, like a little, like tear baggy you can get. And you can just put that's it like a, it's like nasty. one serving you can put like on a like a sandwich or whatever. Like we feed our cats. Or, or like that, like you feed a cat, yeah. Yeah. So Gregory Rasputin. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Speaking of bags of tuna, Gregory Rasputin. <laughs> you know who could bag my tuna is <laughs> 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 Once again, oh I wonder. God. I wonder if they can tell. <laughs> I wonder if they can tell who the last person to go into this is. is. <laughs> this is not content. Not like, yes, it is. This is what okay, the patrons this is why pay people, for. Oh. This is why people listen to our episodes and they're like, I don't understand. All the hosts were like incoherent and screaming throughout the entire episode. And I'm like, listen, you got to listen to more than one. You have to like, get into it. You'll hear it. You'll hear it. I'm sorry. If you're listening sober, 
That's on, <laughs> it's you. on you. It's not my fault. It's Monday at 3 a.m. You really have to get through the first uh, three episodes. The episode comes out. <laughs> so Gre- <laughs> Gregory Rasputin was one of the most mythologized political figures in modern history. And because of that, it's kind of hard to separate fact from fiction and rumor um, played like a huge part in his life and his eventual death. Uh, born to Siberian parents in the winter of 1869, uh, little Gregory was deeply religious. And as a teenager, he started dabbling in faith healing to cure local livestock, allegedly to great success. So that's it's kind of cute. My friend, my friend Powder did the same mm-hmm. thing. Wait, you had a friend named Powder? No, it's a movie. I got the reference. A- I got it. <laughs> it's a- Thank uh, you, Mandy. I did not. You're I was like, what? <laughs> what kind of like weirdo hippie commune did you grow up in? Um, I'm non-binary. If I didn't have a friend named Powder, it'd be weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mandy left a little too hard I there. Did, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, that was a transphobic <laughs> chug. <laughs> sorry. I'm so <laughs> Thanks sorry. Thanks for the input, I'll pay reparations. Sock. I'm so sorry. I feel really bad for how hard I laughed at that. Don't feel bad. They know what they did. <laughs> oh my god! Not Pow knows what they did. Pow Pow knows what Dare did. <laughs> uh, so like, yeah, little baby Gregory, like healing cows with the power of love. Cute. Did he? Okay, Great so idea. What for I a TV want show. is to believe everything that you're saying because if. You're basically saying you have it's to make a choice. It's 1869. You're going to have to. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. So here's the thing. Like Records are bad. You're like, I don't know how much of this was like apocryphal or whatever, right? But yeah. if we don't know, then it's basically like at every turn you have to choose like whether or not you find that believable. But I don't want to put I'm going to use the word allegedly the a lot. So, yeah. well, I'm just going to believe everything you're saying. That, I'm just going to react to it as if it's true. Believe because it. I find that more entertaining. And I think that's more entertaining. So he was magic. We were he going into grifter. this. He was a grifter, but in the way that grifters are, like, a, you know, a broken Then how did he heal those cows? Right, twice a day. Like, sometimes a grifter is like, uh, I'm going to heal through the power of God and also through the power of like clean the bandages on your bro- your cow with a broken leg. You know what I mean? Like um, the world's first so- <laughs> veterinarian. I love this. Exactly. Um, an unproblematic king. <laughs> and, and also I will say, I will say, even though like he's the villain of the, uh, I think it's a Warner brothers movie. It's not a Disney movie. It's a Fox movie. It's a Fox movie. Oh, okay. um, even though he was the villain of that, like he's actually, I mean, definitely has done some problematic things, but isn't like the worst person who's been on our uh, show. So like that's part of the reason that we're going to focus on his dick today. Mm-hmm. Um, because, I always like, focus he, on the dick unless yeah, I'm not. It's far more interesting. And I mean, he was he was a fucking weirdo and he hung out with some weird people, but he tried to make the weird people better. Um, We're not really going to get into this, but like he did hang out with the Russian royal family. But like he was a Christian. But like while he did, he was like, you should be less terrible to the Jews. And they were like, "Mm, we'll take that into consideration. mm, And I was like, well, I guess he's okay." I love when people are less terrible. Just, just <laughs> to, in general, but one also of the very specific minorities in history. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you know, it would be cool if um, more people were less terrible. <laughs> to, just like lay to, off to literally, of them yeah. A little uh, bit. How about we're just how about how about like just enough enough it. with the Jews? Yeah, just you know what they've they've dealt with a lot recently, and we should just like back off a little bit. Like, like I'm a Christian, so like I'm not I'm not gonna go to bat for them entirely. I'm an Orthodox Russian Christian, but like I think like maybe we should just like chill out. I got out so there. confused for a second. I was like, you're a Christian? Oh no, I'm like, talking like I'm, like I'm. I know, I know. I'm <laughs> channeling the spirit, and I'm like looking at of Rasputin's. Dick. I'm like looking around on my screen on how to end the call. Like, I'm like, <laughs> you're looking for I'm the like, you're looking for the crucifix that's always been <laughs> hanging around my neck every time we've met. Like I just thought that was if you unscrew the top, there was like a little coke spoon, <laughs> like. <laughs> You're like if if, Kayla, if you had a, co- what did you think was happening when I led <laughs> yeah, the Kayla, prayer before we started recording I, every time? I, yeah, I thought it was ironic. <laughs> Are you joking? I literally walked. 
I literally walk around my apartment singing Catholic hymns because like they're so fucking. Because <laughs> I taught them to you. Like, <laughs> um, my best friend has brought this up to me before, being like, "You do and say a lot of like Catholic things that like." I don't know if you know about, but you were always singing Children of the Light or like humming it to yourself. And it's like, it's like if you started being like, let's say a prayer before, I would be mm. so hyped. <laughs> like, I do not believe in God. And if God did exist, I would spit in his thousand eyes. But like, I was raised as such a heathen that I have no idea what hymn you're talking about. But um, I'm so, you. Was, so, okay. My, my best friend, we're not going to bleep the name because you know who I'm talking about. Um, also was raised a heathen so like all of the catholic stuff they have no idea what i'm yeah. talking about and i'm like okay well you should at least know about adam and eve yeah like when i say noah you should know who i'm talking about what kind of like satanist were you raised mm. as like okay so yes they were christians they weren't going to be not anti-semitic but they could be less anti-semitic yeah yeah um but that's all in the future right now he's still just like a little baby boy faith healing some cows iconic adorable um big vegan vibes i don't know if he was i doubt he was a vegan <laughs> but um it, it no. was also nobody was vegan <laughs> nobody back was then. vegan back then i mean it was russia you had to eat what you could but he was at least nice yeah, no to the where cows. are there vegetables growing in this like frozen <laughs> ne- tundra nowhere <laughs> <laughs> But <laughs> you have like iceberg lettuce, I assume, because it is ice in the name, and that's all. Yeah, I got. he was the 1869 version of a vegan, which was like, I don't want the cows to suffer before we slit their throats, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, so it was also in his teens that rumors of Rasputin's insatiable sexual appetite had their genesis. So like, he's a little kid doing some animal faith healing, and then as he like hits adolescence people are like do you think that animal lover has got a bold dick and people are like <laughs> yeah i think he does so okay checks what year out, is this out. <laughs> and not checks out uh probably like the 1870s so it was like 1869 <laughs> that he started to become like super religious and started doing faith healing and so like 1870s okay, i have a quick question yeah can you describe the 1870s to me? Were there airplanes? Were there no. televisions? No airplanes. Were things made of steam? The the Civil War had just ended in the U.S. Um, the uh, the big one that I know about. Yeah. Okay. The uh, there were trains. There were steam <laughs> engines. There were big hoop skirts. Okay, steam. Okay. Steam. We're, okay. There was steam. Thank you. We got trains. We got everything steamy. We're we got toward the we got we're, hoopy we're the second half of okay. we're the second half of the 1800s into the early 1900s. You know, so like 30 years don't, before the first don't world say war. You know, after that, because then I need to answer. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Like, I have to explain that I'm like literally stupid. Like, I know that sometimes I say things that sound it's intelligent. Scarlett O'Hara vibes. Okay. Okay, that helps. I'm like, I'm like, give me a woman I would want to be who would have existed at this time, and that will really help me place a Scarlet. Okay, that gives me the vibes. Okay, I got it. I got it. I know where we are. So these these rumors, these rumors about his big old dick would play mm-hmm. a huge role in his later life and career. Uh, so in 1887, now we're we're fast forwarded a few years. Okay, he met and married a woman named Prescovia Dubrovina with whom he had seven children. Whoa. <gasps> they fucked a lot. Three of which lived into adulthood. Yeah. Uh, but three of them lived because it was still 1887. Mm-hmm. And for a while, he was he was just like a dad. He was just like, a, he was just he was living just his daddy. life as a little Russian dad. He was a, he was a dad sputin. Da- daddy you Gregory. Um, <laughs> and Daddy Gregory. Mm. <laughs> we do love it. We do love a dada scene. <laughs> Just saying. We love a dada scene. We love a da- we love a big tight dada scene and a big veiny daddy deck. Um, <laughs> my parents listen to this podcast. Hi, Dad. At the age of <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Hoots. At the age of twenty eight. Oh, I feel Rasputin bad about that. Suddenly, that was gross. <laughs> I feel so good about that. I didn't listen to it, so I'm going to keep barreling keep going, forward. Keep going. I didn't don't, hear it. don't listen. But I'm going to leave it in. 
Editing Amanda is gonna hear it and she's gonna leave it in. <laughs> Not be being like, for who Roger. the fuck is Amanda? <laughs> <laughs> who is that? Bitch, Amanda? <laughs> 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 there, there's two of them and there's two of them with you in the room That's right so now. <laughs> the Amanda's coming from within the house. <laughs> <laughs> there's Amanda in the house. <laughs> <laughs> at the age of 28 Rasputin suddenly had a renewed interest in religion and decided to leave his hometown and his wife and children okay you know what now I'm on board if there's He's one like, thing I, I feel love like that you I feel like man super Christian again <laughs> I'm feeling so Christian again that I think I need to leave my wife and children. Yep. Okay. You know what? God told me women were nasty, and he was right. Uh, so, <laughs> I have to leave you for the Lord. So he decides to leave his hometown and his wife and children and strike it out into the big wide world on a on just like a good old fashioned pilgrimage. We're familiar with those, right? Some of them. <laughs> 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 So there's just like there's nothing funny about it, nothing to judge. Just just a man <laughs> abandoning his wife and family in just, the name of just God. Just a man <laughs> doing what men do and leaving. <laughs> Went out for a pack of cigarettes. Never to be heard from again. again. You said <laughs> you said he was home. a daddy, and I didn't believe you until you told me about how he left. And you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> My dad doesn't That's listen to daddy. this because he left. So we can drag him. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy Conrad, you're going to fucking jail. You're getting canceled on this podcast. <laughs> you're going, yeah, you're getting canceled on Twitter. They're dragging your ass. You were literally teeth. never there for me, and then you left. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> but we are comparing you to a man with a big veiny dick. So take that with yeah, you. Yeah, you know what? You will. You're welcome. <laughs> this is the nicest thing either of us have ever done for each other. <laughs> By his early 30s, Rasputin had attracted a small group of followers and may or may not have joined a Christian cult called the Clists, which means whips. Um, because they they were like super into self flagellation, so I guess like everybody nicknamed them. The I've whip. now decided in this moment that I'm into that for the remainder of this podcast. Yeah, and like for obvious reasons, uh, <laughs> because he was associated was such an extreme with extreme reaction. <laughs> because... I'm like, I'm into I'm whipping in... yourself, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's all like, making really like sense. good for you. <laughs> yeah, it's it's all lining the fuck up. It's all falling into place. Of course, that place is nowhere near this place. And that but... place is nowhere near the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> God was like, you know what? I get it. It's not like we're not going to do it up here. But it's um, also not for me. It, it's it's just it's it's not I'm not I'm not like judging. It's like um, Carrie Bradshaw when she like finds out a like a man she's interested in is like a survivor or something and she's like I don't know it's just like not really my thing and I think it's up to anyone like they, they get to decide who they're with you know she's like I believe men but also this kind of makes you weak but I believe men eyes. but like also like I'll never really be able to think of you like sexually like when I realize yeah when I realize you're like basically bisexual <laughs> So obviously, if you have a cult of people who like to whip themselves, and some of them look like this guy, Based. I'm dropping a link in the Hand chat. Hand it the fuck over. Uh, hey, how are you? People are going to start thinking that it's some kind of a weird sex Would. thing. Yeah. He's doing like sort of like a, a Baphomet kind of statue pose. He He's is. Like, he wants his own iconic pose. So what do we, do we think we would? I would, but I've... I would. The, it would smell bad. I know it would smell things bad. I, well, it's called a Rasputin. You don't go in there yeah. being like, mm, I can't wait for this like gorge, like Japanese. Okay. He looks, and I tweeted this recently and I got people just being like, Galen, but he <laughs> looks like he would come over, excuse himself to the bathroom for five minutes and then come out and like his junk 
would taste like the hand soap in your bathroom because he decided to do a quick bathroom sink rinse before hooking up. I saw that tweet and I identified with it um, for for slightly different reasons. Like I have I when a guy comes over and like we do stuff and then he goes to the bath. My parents listen to this. And then he goes to the bathroom and then he comes back and he mm-hmm. kisses me and his mustache smells like my hand soap. I'm like, oh, sweetie. See, that's that's called being considerate. It's being considerate. Your, your parents should be happy that you're with such hygienic men. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, Hi, Mama Hoots. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Love you. If you subscribe to my Patreon, don't stop, please. <laughs> so okay, so like obviously, like you have a cult of people who like who like go around whipping themselves, and like some of them look like this motherfucker. Based. Um. So like, well, he he does look terrifying, and he looks like a sex like criminal. I... He looks like a sex criminal. So like, a lot of people are like, yeah. It's definitely a sex thing. So, like, there were, like, rumors that the Clists, um, who, like, it's not confirmed that he was part of the Clists, but, like, he was, like, rumored to be part of the Clists, and it it was also rumored that they would all have, like, ritualistic orgies. Just for God, you know? His hand is really big. I'm looking at the size of his hand versus his head. We're going to talk about the dick a lot. We're going to talk about the dick. We're going to talk about the dick. His hand is like five times larger than it should be. Um, So we're going to get there. I think he was very tall. I I think he was over six feet. Which like in the 1880s was like remarkable. He was over six feet. Yeah, I think he was. It was definitely remarkable because we're talking about it right the fuck now. In Let's 2023, so in the year of our Lord, he's huge. <laughs> his hands are huge. And like back then, the average woman was like four foot nine. So like he was about to split you in twain. He um. <laughs> left in twain. Okay. Homeboy <laughs> looks like um, if Hagrid wasn't <laughs> allowed near a school. That's like the vibe <laughs> that I'm getting yeah. from him. He's like skinny sex offender Hagrid. Yeah, he's like half giant, half reaper. <laughs> when uh, I feel bad for saying that I would, but I still would. Yeah, no, I mean. He looks like Jared Leto. Yeah, he does. Jared Leto. If Jared Leto were taller, he mm-hmm. would play him. No, you're like, it could be Jared Leto if Jared Leto if wasn't Jared a short Leto little freak. than five foot nine. <laughs> Like, like if Jared Leto wasn't that kind of person where you could like put a glass over him and slide a paper underneath and like throw him out the window when he gets inside your house. <laughs> Ew, Jared Leto, no, not <laughs> not his earwig ass. Oh, oh, don't get my hair! Don't get my hair! <laughs> oh, boom, 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 boom. Like, Wait, I need a man. Cats will get him. I need a man. Uh, there's a Jared Leto in my fucking kitchen right now, and I'm standing I need on the him counter. To help me. Oh. Um, <laughs> so, like, the rumors of Rasputin's sexual deviancy that kind of dogged him in his teens. Yes, deviancy. Uh, they continued to grow uh, due to his ties to Clisty. And at this point in his career, in his <laughs> early 30s, they included a rumor. That he allegedly possessed a 13-inch penis. That's too many inches. That's too many inches. That's, That's a enormous. Lot. <laughs> I need one I, I need one second. Like do oh. you need to go get a oh okay. Kaylin's gonna go get a tape measure, I think. <laughs> yep, they they have a tape measure. Yeah, they have a tape measure. <laughs> it's too long. You're finding 13 inches. <laughs> There's just Hold no on. fucking way. Just okay. so back right. screenshot this. I need somebody to I need somebody to screenshot this for I'm the putting Instagram. This on the Instagram. I'm screenshotting it now. You got it. Hang okay. on. <laughs> Hang on. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Just hold, just hold, 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 hold. Do I look like I'm stopping? Genius. <laughs> I'm sending it to the group chat. <laughs> Oh no! Oh my god! Okay, good. Please do. Let me face tune it first. Allegedly, thirteen fucking. That's too much dick. That is too much penis. Wait, that is. Where did it go? Ridiculous. No, that is. I'm sending it to the group chat now. (laughs) That no, that that would kill you. It would split you in twain. It would kill you if you if you tried to 
Yeah, Cle- cleft in <laughs> twain. Like, but it would also kill you if all of that blood had to like disappear from your body and go into that. <laughs> How many ounces of blood would that be? I would you you would be needing transfusions every time you wanted to fuck. I'm just imagining it's kind of like when um you have like an inflatable person, but like some of the air doesn't go into the right parts of the body, so it's just the dick is really hard. What the fuck are you talking and the about? The rest of the like the inflatable people. Like those wa- when, wacky waving inflatable oh, people oh, that you put in front of like businesses. Like, you have an inflatable person. <laughs> you're like, you know when you have an inflatable person? Yeah. You're like, I do not. No, I do we're not. We're all sexual deviants here. We all have yeah, an inflatable person. But, but I fuck <laughs> people's dads. <laughs> like wacky inflatable tube arm men. <laughs> Okay, this photo is killing me. 13 inches. It's too many inches. It's too long. <laughs> oh my god. I love that picture. Um, <sighs> and he was like, he was like very popular with his female followers. It's too much. Um, I, I think it was. <laughs> yeah, I fucking bet. I want to subscribe to his only <laughs> like fans. Right now. I just want to see. I'm just curious. I'm not even horny. I'm just curious. I just want to see it. I just want to see it. Can see I just it? see it? Like, uh, I you think- said it like too many times <laughs> in a row for it not to be like really fucked up. <laughs> this is, see it. I just Am see I horny? It. No, I just want to see it. 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 Just show it to me. I just want to see it. 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 No. I just want to see it. Just show it. Just show it. Gregory, it Daddy right Rasputin. I have to see it. I have to see it. Gregory, Gregory, <laughs> da- Daddy, Daddy. I need to see it. it. <laughs> okay, but that's the same thing. I'm not Gregory, horny for it Daddy because Rasputin. I am not suicidal anymore because my life. I'm is curious. Bad. I'm. I don't curious. want to be cleft in twain. I don't. <laughs> One iconic way to commit, though. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't want yeah, when no. I say is too death. much. I want to when see I say it. I want my back blown out, I do not mean Literally. I want one of my vertebrae popped the <laughs> fuck out of my spine. Like, <laughs> so I think it was very unlikely that the Clists actually had ritual or- orgies. Boo! But it was probably very likely that Rasputin took advantage of some of his religious groupies uh, because, because like, look at him; like, he looks like a sex offender. <laughs> like, pull up that picture again oh and look God. at his fucking face. I was going to say, let me click again. Mm. Yeah. yeah that is a man who took advantage no i believe the 13 inch dick His look at those hands huge i know that's a 13 inch. that rumor didn't come from I nowhere know. you know what i mean like i do know what you mean because i can see his hands <laughs> <laughs> it, it didn't come, from, come nowhere. from nowhere he had a huge fucking <laughs> maybe cock. not 13 but at least nine <laughs> Well, it was a man's 13, which is like a 10. A man's 13. <laughs> you always add one. It came from the penis. Okay, you know what? I, I believe he would be 13 bone press. I don't think he's 13. It's like a bigger seven. Just like swanging. Oh, of course not. It has to be but like no if, one if is you 13 were to, If you were to take a ruler <laughs> and like... If you were to take a ruler and like press it hard into the, like the the pubic mount, yeah. sorry, le pubic mount, le pubic mount. Um, I think you could probably get to thirteen on this man. This is a giant. He's huge, and it seems proportional. Like his heart is probably huge too to power that yeah. thing. Although that that doesn't always necessarily <laughs> hold. As someone who's been on dates with to power six that thing. Four guys who don't always hold up once you get them naked. Uh, well, they have tiny now, hearts. <laughs> now that's, that's why they can't fuck and they can't love. Rasputin would have just remained a footnote in history. Um, some like weird, greasy mystic monk guy who like maybe had a big dick and maybe had sex with his female followers. Had it not been for the Romanov family, so aside from getting who are they? Uh, oh, they were they were the the royal family of Russia of, oh. at the time. Mm-hmm. And aside from getting super fucking murdered by the Bolsheviks <laughs> and having a Wait, daughter named do we think Anastasia, that's cool? yes, we do. We do. <laughs> then I'm laughing. I mean, again. like, I'm I'm not a Bolshevik, but like the royalists are worse. Is that like? Uh, I've heard that used for like communists they, or something. They are socialists. Online. Yeah, okay. they are socialists. Oh, that's hot. Um, but aside from like, so they they murder. They're the communists that murdered the royal family. Um, and I think murder is cool. 
So aside from getting like super fucking murdered by them and having a daughter <laughs> named Anastasia who like maybe survived, but maybe not survived. Um, she definitely didn't survive. Uh, the next most well-known thing about the last royal family of Russia is that their only son and heir to the Russian throne, Alexei, uh, suffered from hemophilia, which is a blood disorder that affects- A vampire. Yes. Uh, it's a blood disorder that affects the sufferer's ability to clot. Uh, so hemophilia is like a really tricky condition to manage, like even today in 2023. But back in the early 20th century, it was essentially a death sentence. So the Tsar and Tsarina of Russia were acquainted with Rasputin in 1905. And his reputation as kind of like this like quirky faith healer guy who could like save cows from like whatever their ailments are. Um, kind of preceded him. Uh, so in the summer of 1906, they reach out to him for help because the doctors in 1906 were um, dog shit. Uh, so like when a, when your son keeps bleeding out, you're like, well, I guess I'll call the faith healer too because like he can't do any worse than the doctors are Not doing. Not even just that, but like back then, a doctor was more likely to do damage. Like- mm -hmm. They'd be like, oh, you're bleeding a lot. That's because your four humors are out of balance mm -hmm. and you have so much extra blood that your body's trying to get rid of it. So what we're going to do is help your body along and mm -hmm. uh, and like let your blood. So I <laughs> like you're bleeding a lot. We're going to take out more blood. I think this was a little bit post uh, bloodletting. What um, year was this? 1906. So this is the early 20th century. Yeah. Um, but you are right to say that doctors were worse than faith healers because even then like um in addition to like performing miracles on alexi um oh no not miracles rasputin, well rasputin required that the doctors stop treating treating him with aspirin and aspirin is a blood thinner okay well thank you yeah so like he was like don't give him a like aspirin is a painkiller but it um, it, it's a blood thinner. So like if you have a condition like hemophilia or if you have like ulcers, um, it will make you bleed out. Yeah. So he was like, don't give him any more drugs. And that started to make him get better. Oh, my God. So he's an angel. He's a miracle worker. We've seen results. He's literally a miracle yeah. worker. Like, uh, so the Tsar and Tsarina understandably became like very attached to uh, Rasputin. He's this like baby this saver. weird monk who like made their son like not yeah. die. Um, and Rasputin almost immediately became part of their inner circle. Um, because you would like if if you're like if you find your Merlin, my son who I love very much, you is don't dying. just like walk away. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. You're like, anyways, thanks for saving my son. Goodbye forever. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never need you again. <laughs> right. <laughs> you don't just like Gandalf and just walk off. Like, no, 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 say. No. You're like, oh, you're my best friend for the rest of my life. <laughs> no, like, I'm sorry. If I met someone who even had the ability to do like a tiny bit of magic, like just like move a paperclip like a millimeter and I could see it, I'd be like, you were never leaving my side. Yeah. Like, I'm going to ask you for like, I'm going to ask you to advise every decision I ever make. Yeah. Yeah. No, like <laughs> you didn't, you do not. This, no. Okay. Uh, so he like becomes part of their inner circle, like right away. And thus becomes a political scapegoat for propagandists throughout Russia. So if you will remember from your high school history class, uh, Pre-First World War Europe was a metaphorical powder keg with like rising political tensions, uh, not just between nations, but between ethnic groups and most importantly for this story, uh, between socioeconomic classes. Again, the, the Bolsheviks. I would just like to say I do not remember my high school history class and you know that because I'm 40 and I was on drugs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but also I just said another photo of Rasputin because you only said one. <laughs> Where he was kind of hot. You're but like setting this is the scariest man I've ever seen. That no, <laughs> like no. I'm crossing the street. 
No. Imagine him with a 13 inch dick just like <laughs> fucking you raw. <laughs> <sighs> Not Mandy. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what I assume he He's a scary looking growling. man. He really is. You, yeah, you no. picked the least no. scary photo of him to send. <laughs> and I think you did that on purpose. All the others are Look, so this. scary. This is like the most Just terrifying thing I've ever seen. Like, if you were going to picture, okay. If oh I were my to God. Admit, if, yeah. Brad, did you just see the last one? Yes. Yeah, so I, hate scary. I hate it. This is like if somebody was like, okay, now I need you to I close I need to your download eyes. the notes from this episode. Oh, no, I'll send them to you. Okay, here's the thing. Every I'm going to do like a, a, a like a 20 second guided meditation for you. Okay. Everybody okay, close, close your, your eyes. eyes. Breathe. Breathe out. <laughs> Breathe in. Now picture what someone would look like if they were living inside your fucking walls. <laughs> Because it's this fucking man. <laughs> it, you know, when you are in bed at night and you see someone standing in the corner and you're like, I don't know if that's a person or a coat rack. And your eyes are like trying to adjust and you're like, I think I see eyes. That's him. That's the man you think you see and that's the man that's really there. <laughs> this is if um what little, little tamale from the ring had grown up and become a man and transitioned. Somali? What was Samara. her name? Samara. Samara. I was close. <laughs> a little, a little tamale from the ring had grown up and become a man and transitioned. Canonically, and been, canonically and been a, a trans rapist. man. <laughs> okay, you know what? Sometimes... There's so many caveats added to this image. Trans icon Samara I... from the ring. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, so not, not her being like, listen, bitch. Yes, it's 2023. <laughs> I came out of the well. This is who I am. No, I came out of the well and I came well. out of the TV. <laughs> like, I am representation. Okay. I was in the TV and now I'm out. Okay. Who's going. Coming out as gay is now coming out of the closet, and coming out as trans is coming out of the well. <laughs> no, to go deeper down. <laughs> okay, but like because it's like a double coming out, you like come out of the well, and then you have to come out of the TV too. Yeah, that's if you're that's if you're a trans being. That's if you have to come out as both. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well, <sighs> any trans beings listening, um, don't cancel me. Okay, don't cancel us, but also we're right. we love you. We're right. That's it. That's it. We, <laughs> these we bitches, love you and these we're bitches right. were all like clapping along, like, yes, she is <laughs> gay. Yes, Tamale. <laughs> tamale. Okay. okay, this is the last one I'm sending because he looks like cool. Okay. Like like a color I thing. get it, but I don't. Like he's ugly, he's scary, but also like you just know that that enormous uncut. This penis. man would have four hundred and fifty thousand subscribers on yes. YouTube. <laughs> like <laughs> the worst human you've ever met with a thirteen-inch uncut penis. He looks like <sighs> the way some... looks like a fucking tremor. <laughs> he looks like um. Like a guy that you'd meet at a polyamorous meet and greet. Um, yeah, he does. He does. You know, okay. I didn't want to I didn't want to say it because Mandy was here. And it's okay. I made the joke. It's fine. He does. She's it's real. High. Yeah. She's real polyamorous. Because my girlfriend and I wanna, wanna Unlike get to me. know you kind of vibes. We saw you from across the bar. <laughs> my seven um, girlfriends. Mandy's and like I. all seven of us. <laughs> Mandy's like real polyamorous, not just like polyamorous as of like the last year when prior to that I was just like a whore <laughs> um, so I didn't want to make the joke but he does, the he does look like every polyamorous man on hinge <laughs> he which really is like, does it's like literally everything matches up with like, like I've met like, this guy <laughs> like, I've met every him. single one of our pe every single one of our like intersections of politics matches up or like all of our values align and then I look and I'm like <laughs> How do you look like yeah. Rip fucking he Van Winkle? 
I'm sorry, though. He's also called every woman he's ever oh, slept yeah. with crazy. Every one of his exes. Like, <laughs> But honestly, I will believe him. Like, because bitch, you're crazy. If he's messaging me. <laughs> like attracts like. Not to pull the secret on that's you. That's why I believe him. Okay, that's why I believe him because I'm attracted to him. I'm like, he's like, yeah, all the people I'm with are crazy. And I'm like, yeah, you bet we are. <laughs> yeah. Show me Let's the get dick. fucking insane. Show it to me. <laughs> Show it to me. I, wanna, Show it. I need to see it. Show it. I need to Show see it. it. Show it. Slap it out on the, I need you to pull it out and slap it. it out on the table. Like Not it hitting like, the table like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when a man gets home from hunting and he flips a deer over on the table for you to <laughs> <laughs> that's out of dead flesh <laughs> no <laughs> Siri was just like I found this on the web didn't I safe venison care from the field to the table no care no. for your venison <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have oh. food for the family this week. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> Not calling his dick big game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so what was I saying? <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> so Czar Nicholas II, who was truly a bad person, who will be the subject of an episode one day, nice. inherited the throne of a restless Russia from his father, uh, Emperor Alexander III. Alexander, who was even worse than Nicholas, had been an autocrat who forbade anyone within the Russian Empire to speak non-Russian languages, uh, even in places like Poland cracked down on the freedom of the press and weakened his people's political institutions. Yikes. So I don't like him. Yeah, he sucked. He he was a bad guy. Um and before Nicholas's even coming to power, a lot of Russian working class people were like, hey, maybe like maybe like the monarchy is like a bad idea. Like maybe they should maybe we should think about doing away with it. How are there even Russian monarchs? Like what made them? How fancy? are they even Russian? Monarchs? Were they even inbred? Like, and who chose them? God? I don't think so. Maybe we should yeah, bomb like, them. No, okay. I know we're talking close to our mic, so it sounds like <laughs> it sounds like we're being kind of sarcastic. But but like I literally don't know what we're talking about. How are th- how are they chosen? Were they chosen by God? Like, did somebody just have a lot of money and they were like, now we own everything? They had been kings and queens for many centuries um, and they dominated ruthlessly and they still held on. Oh, dominating ruthlessly. They still held on to their position like well into the 20th century, basically because of that, because of the ruthless. And like, so this is something. And the 20th century would be like (laughs) 1900s. When we were born. When we were born. The 20th century. Um, and this is something that we will get into if and when we ever do, like on Nicholas the second episode. But like he did suck, but he was also like uh he tried to liberalize after um an autocrat. And then when he tried to liberalize like institutions like the press, um, he didn't like it. So he like tried to take it back. And that's like historically um like one of the things you can count on um it, it, like in any place in any time uh it, to precipitate a revolution like the people like you liberalize a little bit and people start to talk mm-hmm. and then you like try to take it back and they're like oh you're not no. taking it back no 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 yeah so they um, killed and him and for our listeners who don't know what an autocrat is um, it's what would that it's be? A, a fascist dictator. I guess not technically fascist because fascism wasn't like a political theory then, but a dictator. That's so bad. That's what I knew it was. It's so nice of you to explain to people who definitely were not Kalen. Exactly, Mandy. You're so right about this. So I know I am. So people are like, 
This fucking sucks. Do you think we should keep doing this? No, I don't think we should keep doing this. Let's... I don't think so. I, I heard we should. I was talking to my wife about this the other day. We both were like, <laughs> we can't keep doing You're this. Like... Yeah, my wife. I'm a lesbian. <laughs> you fucking homophobe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I thought we were being women. Sorry, I thought women supported women. <laughs> I thought we were being women. Oh. If I thought we were, if I thought we were being gays, I would have said my husband. <laughs> I just said we were gossiping, so I was like, "Aren't we women?" Uh. <laughs> we're like quietly whispering and gossiping. gossiping. My wife and my husband. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that's, that's Mandy. Mandy. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's Mandy gossipy being like, yeah, I was just saying this the other day to my wife, my wife and my husband. Yeah. And also her her wife, also her other wife. <laughs> my wife, my wife and her husband and my husband is my husband. <laughs> my husband's boyfriend. We were all talking about this. My husband's boyfriend was just talking to me we about this. We were all talking about how Nicholas sucks. Uh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's such a pussy. Uh so Zar Z- Nicholas <laughs> was perceived as a pussy. He uh, like his people thought of him as like pretty weak and indecisive. The least feminist podcast. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to jail for that. <laughs> when I, when I'm I, allowed to say it because I'm yeah. a woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to say something about it? I am literally a cis woman who has had to deal with with straight men. Oh, so, so I can't say it. So I can so I have one, it. but I can't, <laughs> but I can't say, say it. <laughs> <laughs> silencing women. Okay, you know what? Hashtag let women. women speak. Just like my <laughs> best friend Parsi Parker says, let women Parsi speak. Parsi Parker. <laughs> Parsi Parker said that Czar Nicholas was a pussy. Um. <laughs> okay. The okay. Leave it in. That that pop <laughs> like was so pronounced. Perfect. <laughs> I don't care. Come for me, Percy. So his like his his brain was marked by like some very unpopular strategic decisions, uh, even before like Rasputin came into the picture, including a disastrous military conflict with the Japanese called the Russo-Japanese War, sometimes also referred to as World War Zero, that resulted in a costly series of humiliating defeats for the Russian Empire and Japanese annexation of Korea. In the midst of that nightmare, like the war with Japan, um, the Bloody Sunday Massacre happened on January 22nd, 1905, in which imperial forces opened fire on working class and socialist demonstrators outside the Tsar's Winter Palace, killing and wounding hundreds. Jesus. Not me going to Zara to get like an affordably priced like faux leather boot and like messenger bag and they're getting like literally murdered what is this yeah at, outside of zara's winter palace <laughs> yeah what okay i forgot i didn't hear the winter palace part that changes things <laughs> that changes things <laughs> Tsar Nicholas II and his wife, Tsarina Alexandra, started hanging out with uh, self-proclaimed mystic and alleged sexual deviant monk Rasputin later that same year <laughs> after the, <laughs> the Bloody Sunday Massacre. And uh, Russian journalists and politicians started using him as a way to undermine the Romanov family's credibility. They were like, if you didn't like how he murdered people, wait till you hear about how they're hanging out with a pervert. <laughs> I'm like, um, have you heard about this okay, but- guy's dick? <laughs> Can we I'll- go back to the murder now? Okay. Okay. So, yes, maybe some people died. But the veins <laughs> on this thing? On that 13 inch dick. No. <laughs> he has veins bigger than some people's dicks. It's true. But it might not be true. Like, for this reason. No, it's like- true. <laughs> I heard that it was true on this podcast I listened to, Respect the Dick. <laughs> <laughs> the podcast where we always do. We always, <laughs> always do. do. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> These have been the horniest episodes. Truly. But like I'm but sorry, like, mom and no dad. Sec- <laughs> but with no like sexual intent behind them. We're it's just, just we're just about being babes. very honest about dick. <laughs> and it's like we're just oh, talking okay. about big purple veiny dick. Sometimes you share hobbies, interests. <laughs> Um, joys with your friends and community. Hobbies. <laughs> Sometimes that hobby. I feel very connected yeah. to both yeah. of you right okay. now because it's called of this. Solid fucking darity. Google it. It's called friendship. Solid fucking dick a My little penis friendship is magic. <laughs> <No>. My <laughs> little penis friendship is magic. I'm like. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Maybe the real, the real. What well, was? How's that fucking saying going? What we the real Blank is uh, the friends journey we was the dick we made <laughs> along the way. <laughs> the real journey was the dicks we sucked along the way. It's so true. So yes. true, bestie. That actually is my journey. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln said that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the fact that I believed you <laughs> is like. <laughs> I'm I'm like, never, I never, I never lie to you. I believe you. Never. Oh, damn it, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, legitimately, if Mandy told me Abraham Lincoln said something, I'd be like, that's nuts. I can't believe he said that. Okay. So, Russian journalists and politicians are now using um, Rasputin to undermine the Romanov's family's credibility. Uh, so, for this reason, it's it's kind of hard to separate uh, Rasputin the man from the the propaganda, the propagandist caricature. Yeah, and and yeah. a lot of the info about him is and 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 about his his very long penis is the result of rumor and and like really hard to fact. Okay, I believe it all. I just want to preface. <laughs> I believe the rumors. That the rumors are all, all true. All of my react. Unfortunately. As all rumors about me have always been true, I believe all the rumors about Rasputin. Mm. The rumors about Carry your on. your big juicy prostate are true, and and so are the rumors yeah. about his big juicy dick. I've literally seen it on an X ray. <laughs> they were like, Bad. "This is it." Yeah, it it should not be taking up this much space. It should be the size of a dime, but, but instead, it's a coconut. Oh so. wow, that is juicy. Sorry, sorry, sorry about your juicy coconut prostate. Um, but like you're gonna have to pee every like five minutes for the rest of your life, but also you're welcome. <laughs> but the trade off <laughs> is so good. Whatever the real truth, Rasputin did not do much to help his reputation or to stymie the rumors, as he was also almost always drunk in public. Same bestie. Iconic. Uh frequented <laughs> frequented brothels and told people that he was both the Tsarina's official advisor. And her secret lover. Um, so he was he was messy. He was sloppy. Okay, can I just say, if you have a 13-inch dick, people can see. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter what kind of pants you're wearing. Yeah. People can see. No. Like, if, and if you have back a... back was like linen. If you have a six-inch dick, soft, people can see. Like, there, there's no... The rumors that. had to be based in something. Yeah, there, there were the from nowhere. Had to be people based weren't in just something. like, oh, I bet he had a huge dick because... He's such a creep looking. <laughs> like he looks like no. a creep. I bet it's huge. They're like, no, I see that swinging. I see, <laughs> I see one side of his pants has two knees. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> like that's something you notice. Not, not Gregory two knees Rasputin. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gregory three knees Rasputin. <laughs> three? Yes, we have three knees. Yes. Mandy, my fellow, my fellow wait, knee counter, <laughs> my, my, like, fellow, wait, one, my fellow two. math historian. <laughs> finally, Nar, finally, my, someone on this podcast who can go. Finally, my fellow cock historian. <laughs> okay, starting a podcast called <laughs> Yester Cox. Just doing my part, <laughs> like, talking about like how big dead, the cocks were, famous <laughs> dead people's cocks. <laughs> So okay, I'm most, joking, but but not. Let me know in the comments if you <laughs> if you listen to that. If you would if you would download this? Let me know in the if comments. You would buy Hello, if you would use a Hi- Hello, Hello Fresh, Fresh coupon yeah. code. 
<laughs> Let me know in the comments if if you <laughs> if you're interested in any sponsorship opportunities. Um, so most math historians think that <laughs> that Rasputin was not actually sexually or romantically involved with uh, Zarina Alexandra. However, I believe um, that. I I believe he was making shit up. I believe like I believe he was sexually yeah. active with a lot of people, but I believe she was like, "Thank you for saving my son," and he was like, "I'm fucking this bitch." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so his his service to the royal family was most likely mm-hmm. just limited to Alexei's healthcare. Zarina Alexandra responded to the increase in bad press about Rasputin by rallying to defend him. Like, the more infamous his reputation got, the more she doubled down in support of him. She was like, that is my guy. Mm-hmm. Um, she, he was really her buck angel. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was like, no. nobody talk shit about my angel book. <laughs> I got canceled for... Rasputin Gregory and he did nothing wrong. Rookie, I just got I just got cancelled for defending I like all these different accents. (laughs) They're not at all right. I know. That's crikey. That's it's a really good Russian accent. That's crikey. That's crikey. That's a crikey crikey. Russian accent. (laughs) Look, thank you. That's a crocodile. Crocodile? Uh in 20, 2014? No, in 1914, <laughs> uh, Russia entered the first... I'm literally reading this off of a, a an iPad. I don't know why I said 2014. Like, in 1914... It's like your subtitles. <laughs> literally. Russia entered the First World War, a uh, political act oh. that would ultimately sound the death knell for both Rasputin and the Romanov family. But Rasputin would go first, and that's where <laughs> our, our penis story really begins. Begins. <laughs> begins. <gasps> <laughs> We're an hour and seven minutes in. <laughs> okay. This is about the dick. It's not about mm, the man. That is a really uh, how I felt in a lot of situations <laughs> in my life. Because sometimes <laughs> one is so good and the other is so bad. I'm like very like so when they're both good, that's when I'm like, "Will you be my boyfriend? Let's get married. <laughs> let's get married. Okay, maybe not married, but like, let's be together for a long time. And can I have that one? <laughs> and but like, like, some please. This is my Basically. emotional support dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I, you actually have to let me bring this on the plane. <laughs> you can't charge me for a, se- for a separate it's seat. discrimination if you don't let my emotions. <laughs> it's, it's literally, it's literally it's discrimination. So you if discriminating you don't let me, me. Bring this dick on the plane. Like, I, I, I'm telling you right now. I will sue. I'm telling you right now. I'm not paying for a second seat. This is my emotional support death <laughs> and if you do not let him ma'am, on, it is screaming ma'am you ma'am, ma'am to, you have to pay for another me. seat you, you cannot let this 13 no, inch penis come no up. you have to give me accommodations it says in the law i have been told i would receive accommodation ma'am's, ma'am's. Like, Ma'am's that both Mandy and I yelling at the same time, expecting four <laughs> seats on the plane. Ma'am, <laughs> you can, you have to pay for another seat. He is his, his is dick is legal? technically big enough that he needs to pay what's for your, a first class your, seat. His his dick is technically big enough that he needs to pay for two seats for himself for two first class seats. Like, ma- ma'am. Ma'am, there are there are there are two grown men right here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, that's rude. I am only using this part of it though. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to think about grandma's oh and God. cold showers then. No, ma'am, he has been <laughs> <laughs> He's been doing that for eight hours. This is just how big it is. <laughs> ma'am, I'm ma'am, I'm sorry. <laughs> But his grandma was like very hot. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's not gonna work. <laughs> this is my boyfriend, Danny Sophia Loren. <laughs> 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 
On the evening of December 30th, 1916. Yeah, no, get into it. Let's do remember it. This, remember this episode that we were doing? No. Um, an assassination plot by a Russian imperial <laughs> prince named Felix Yusupov was carried out on Rasputin. <laughs> <laughs> Not like, oh, it's just me and my friend Felix has a gun. Like... <laughs> it's such a cat name Felix has a gun <laughs> okay, Can you please say this man's name meow, again meow. Alexander got a poison your ass Yeah. <laughs> Felix use a pub Okay. Alexander gonna poison your ass It's like That's it. It's very That's it. Carol Marinara <laughs> <laughs> like I'm a report on you. <laughs> like, Fifi fake name. <laughs> okay, that's cute though. Dox it all oh, you yes. bitches. Yes, oh, Dox it all you bitches. <laughs> Alive, it's Doxin actually pronounced all Doxin, Doxin all you bitches. Is Doxin all you bitches? <laughs> Rasputin's murder is shrouded in rumor and love. This is this episode's fucking crazy. Is a shrouded in rumor and legend mm. as That's the rest his of his life <laughs> and his dick. <laughs> Famously, Rasputin was impossible to kill. Uh, the story goes that he was. You can't first... just say that. You can't just be like, famously, he was immortal. <laughs> like... <laughs> well, no, it's the thing I was talking about earlier at the start when 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 Hoots was asking what we knew about him. That's this like, like one, one of the things. infamous like, things. Is he a really yeah. Yeah. Time to die. <laughs> That's like where the, he might the have story sense. goes. The story goes that first, first he was poisoned by some cyanide laced cakes, That's then hot. by some poisoned wine, then stabbed, <laughs> then shot three wait, times. Wait, so you're at the dinner table, and the person who was supposed to have poisoned you is sitting there waiting for it to kick in, and you. And you don't even eat just like a piece like, of the cake. Some wine. You eat the whole cake, <laughs> and then you're just sitting there like, bah, 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 bah. like you know, you know what we should do cakes, later? Plural cakes, plural. <laughs> okay, he eats two full cakes. He's, he's a popping them like, and then drinks like two full <laughs> bottles of wine, and they're like, "Why is this man not dying?" And it's like you don't understand. A 13 inch penis is like a cleansing <laughs> organ, like a liver. It, it just filters so the poison right out. Yeah. And so much poison. <laughs> so then you have to stab him in the lungs a little bit, and then he's like, Ooh, that smarted. <laughs> <laughs> well, that tickled. And, and then he was shot three times. And then, <laughs> then he was thrown in an icy river. And then he died. Yeah, like they, they clarify icy. Yeah. It was it was cold. They were like, honestly, it was the cold that did it. He hated being <laughs> he hated frosty. Being cold. He was a warm, warm weather person. <laughs> Although his actual autopsy showed no evidence of poisoning and his cause of death was listed as a single bullet shot to the head. <laughs> okay. So so what I'm saying is Russians exaggerate a little Probably bit. Probably not a vampire. Probably not a vampire. It was just like, Yusupov was like, his dick was so big. And what, <laughs> yeah, what, and, and what did the coroner say about the size of his the veins? The peepee. Uh, and then there is the, the penis. So almost immediately, rumors started to persist that... Rasputin was uh, mutilated at the time of his murder. Uh, his own somebody stole his penis. Yeah, somebody somebody chopped his dick off. Uh, his own daughter Maria, who who sounds like fucking dope, she grew up to become a cabaret dancer, an author, and a lion tamer. Oh, um, cool! <laughs> she sounds That's fucking badass. cool as hell. Yeah. Hey, I was like, I was like, cool, dope. <laughs> and then you're like lion tamer. Cool, legit. Cool. Like oh, okay. Uh, she claimed that Yuzapov made had made sexual advances on her father. She was like, "Go!" <laughs> the night of the assassination, um, only to cut the penis off 
and and lob it around the room when Rasputin rejected his advances. So like it didn't start as an assassination. It was like, let's fuck. And Rasputin was like, no. And he's like, do you want me to cut your dick off? <laughs> he, 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 he pulled the whole like, got your nose, except got your penis. <laughs> that happens. Sometimes people got yeah, your yeah. penis. So, so Maria, it, it happens. Yeah. Sometimes people legit got, <laughs> Get, your got your penis. Um, so so Maria was like, it wasn't actually an assassination attempt. It was a crime of passion. <laughs> he cut my father's dick off and then he had to kill him. Well, I mean, you, you can't do one without the other. What else does he have to live for? Uh, when you have a 13-inch dick, that's like your whole thing. Another version of the story has a maid in Yuzapov's residence. It's fucking ridiculous. Finding the dismembered member... <laughs> Uh, the day after the assassination and just like squirreling it away for her safekeeping. <laughs> so she was like, she was like, what's this? It's, a little, it's like the way that sometimes you're out for a walk it. and you find like a cool rock on the ground and you're like, oh, I should take this home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a penis. Or like a penny that's heads yeah, up. Yeah, you're like, oh, you're like, this is a good luck. lucky day for me. <laughs> which, which way this was the penis? Was, was well the for penis me. lying down or lying straight up? Well, this bodes well. <laughs> this is a good day. <laughs> <laughs> we all know if you find a penis straight, straight up, you're going to have good luck in the winter. Yeah. If find you a, find a dick find facing a penis, north. Pick it up. Carry, wait, was it? All day find long, a dick, you'll have a up, All day long, you'll have Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's gorgeous. Still another version claims that one of Rasputin's former lovers stole his penis after his autopsy. Yeah. So it happens. Um, I, and I will say, like, Look his autopsy, like, the guy who did his autopsy, the coroner, was like, he still had a dick then. So, like, if his penis got stolen, this is the most likely mm -hmm. story okay. because the, the coroner had no reason to lie about his penis right. still being there. Yeah. <laughs> the um, coroner wasn't think. like, in maybe on he it. did. <laughs> yeah. Um, so maybe, like, maybe somebody was like, I'll have that <laughs> after the. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. It's like Ooh, a I take a penny, leave a penny situation, but with a penis. Take a penis, penis leave a yeah, penis. Yeah. Minus the leave a yeah. penis. One of those community libraries where right. you like donate a book you've read and take a book yeah. you haven't. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Not familiar with this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this one's this one's long. It's gonna take me a while. <laughs> I'll fit it in though. It's gonna take me a while. I'll fit it in. <laughs> no way. Jail. <laughs> no. By the 1920s, the organ reputed to be Rasputin's made it to Gay Paris. That's gorgeous. Where, where, of all places, where it was kept in a polished box and worshipped by a group of female Russian expats. As you do. <laughs> For a minute, I didn't realize you said expats. I thought you said empaths. <laughs> yeah, I'm an empath, which is why I worship this penis. I worship this cock. Um, I love that. I feel for oh it, God. and I feel it. Mm -hmm. No, I love them, and um, I guess <laughs> the cult like, of the penis. I don't want to be them, but like, it is iconic. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind it for like a day. If I was like, go to Russia, pray at the altar of this like giant penis, like just well, I you have probably to be Russian Russia. and be in Paris because it's technically in Paris. Okay. It's well, in Paris. You're, that, you know, it does sound safer than going to Russia as yeah. a me. You're worshiping um, a dick in a so, box. Yeah, I guess I could worship a dick in a box here. It's probably easier to just do it in Canada. There's, Never mind. Yeah, there's probably one around the corner. Mm hmm. Uh, Maria Rasputin caught wind of this dick in a box cult about her father's not her alleged catching dick. Wind. like her out in the woods and like sniffing the She's air like, and being like you said what, what the <laughs> fuck <laughs> one, of, one of her lines is like rah, rah, rah. she's like what <laughs> what are you talking about rah, 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 rah. it's very what? like it's giving twilight <laughs> <laughs> they imprinted like, on my father's <laughs> penis he's a penis <laughs> <laughs> you <are> my penis <laughs> You oh laid my, my penis, penis my after penis. the Loch Ness monster. <laughs> I can't help it. She's a penis. <laughs> <laughs> She's a penis. <laughs> Sidekick. 
Write that down for a shirt. Sidekick, don't you fucking dare. <laughs> she's a penis should be our first shirt. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, she's a penis exclamation mark. Like Two exclamation mark. <laughs> okay. This is like, I'm sorry. This is like, this is representation. She's a penis is so good. <laughs> Uh, so she, <laughs> Maria Rasputin, found out about the, the Dick in a Box cult and angrily traveled to Paris to get Daddy's penis back when she. When she <laughs> I love the idea of angrily traveling to Paris. Like, Stop oh, when I get friend. to Paris. Oh my, oh my God. Like my Daddy's dick. <laughs> oh my God. Mandy marching with the little drummer boy. <laughs> <laughs> on camera like oh i'm gonna get my daddy's dick <laughs> why i yada <laughs> you better give me my daddy's dick back or i swear to god <laughs> my daddy's dick beat up your daddy's dick. and allegedly <laughs> she succeeded so maria got daddy's <laughs> dick back. i'm sorry I'm, good I'm, good for I'm, her i'm sorry did you hear what mandy just said <laughs> <No>. <laughs> my daddy's dick could beat up your daddy's <laughs> I mean, sorry if it's thirteen <laughs> fucking inches. It probably no, could. It could probably beat up every it probably daddy's could. dick. It's a factual <laughs> statement. This is a factual statement about my daddy's dick. I'm sorry, your daddy's dick could probably beat up like a full grown man if it's thirteen inches. That shit no, give you a thir- black thir- eye. At 13 inches, that is his own man. That will knock you out. Yeah. Let's talk about That is a man. He should be able to vote. (laughs) (laughs) That can drive. That can rent a truck. (laughs) It can buy its own alcohol. (laughs) Yeah, no. At 13 inches, it should be able to rent a car. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. In 1994, an American man named Michael Augustine claimed to have acquired the penis, along with a manuscript (laughs) by Maria Rasputin at a storage locker sale in California. (laughs) So, like, he went to he went to fucking like storage wars and like bid on a locker (laughs) and got like Maria Rasputin's unfinished novel and her daddy's penis. (laughs) <laughs> okay the way that the this thing is traveling on the world i'm like in california this penis, this penis is like jumanji <laughs> yes. like, like it just like it washes up in a river in like a in a wooden box and you open it up and you're like whoa like, and it what? is a curse everywhere it goes it leaves <laughs> it, it leaves fucking prolapsed anuses in its wake <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so the cylindrical object contained in a red velvet pouch and purported to be Rasputin's whole ass penis uh, was <laughs> tested in a lab and found to be drum drum roll. Tell me <laughs> a dehydrated sea cucumber. Oh. <gasps> Where's my man's dick? But that's that's not where the story ends. That's not where the story ends. Okay. So, okay. Igor Knyazkin of the Museum of Russian Erotica in St. Petersburg claims to have acquired like he lives in the, museum. the real deal. So he, I think he's a, he either owns it or he's like one of the proprietors of it or something. Okay. Um, I think he's the owner You're of like it. Like this guy at a museum? And I'm like. What do you mean hey, of? Like, the Phantom, the Phantom of the Porn Museum. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. now I believe in him. Like both like literally and in his success. As a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he he claims to have acquired the actual penis. Um Dope. Kenyazkin claims to have purchased the item preserved in a wooden casket like a tiny little wooden casket for a, for a dick like, well I guess a big dick they were like we were going to use a baby casket but we had to go for like an 8 year old because it was too big because it was enormous it was like this big you could cradle like, that shit okay, you know what nobody's talking about the balls that would come along with a 13, with a 13 inch, inch penis yeah imagine like, you're if they were really tiny two, though you, like no, imagine I, if you had a pair of pearls Imagine if I didn't imagine that and you didn't try and ruin my life. 
<laughs> they would be they would imagine, be like tires uh, though imagine if i imagined the opposite and it didn't suck <laughs> like, like the... what, if it, what, what, about, what if what if i was allowed to imagine something that wasn't disappointing <laughs> It'd be like the, the... Like, how about that hoots haven't i been through enough They'd be like the wheels on like a like a semi truck or something. The wheels on the bus a do bus? go round on round. <laughs> they are so round. <laughs> no. <laughs> not, not not Rasputin singing that while he's absolutely destroying your bowels. <laughs> this man, I swear, like we're talking Ruining like your life. like a twelve inch swanger. <laughs> behind oh, no. the 13 inch swinger mm-hmm. like if this, this man was clearly a giant he was half he could giant not half sit penis. down without being sore no he could not and you know what he did it for us and that's and why also, you never see a picture of him sitting <laughs> i feel like literally some of the pictures <laughs> like, we've like, looked li- at he's sitting <laughs> I was about to like, i'm gonna click on this i'm like is yes! he sitting there's like three pictures of him right here <laughs> Sitting right he's sitting in like all of them. <laughs> is he though? Is he? <laughs> Not me gaslighting you. Okay, you know what? Now that you say you're gaslighting me, I believe you. No. <laughs> Do you know that there isn't a hole cut out in that chair? I don't. You no, don't. The, the second, the second, Hoots was like, "But what if I was gaslighting you?" I, I was like, "What if I'm I wrong?" Don't, I don't feel safe. <laughs> what if my, my eyes are lying to me? <laughs> Okay, but like, I what if he's just so tall? What do you believe, me or the thirteen-inch penis? You know what? I like I've known you longer. It may be longer, but I've known you longer. (laughs) And and you know what? I hashtag I believe hoots. We all took hashtag I believe hoots. He's never actually sitting. (laughs) (laughs) He's just sticking his face in like one of those like those like um, cutouts that looks like somebody that looks like him you, like, sitting head in it. Again, like... <laughs> he just has like hundreds of cutouts of him sitting in other like brightly lit rooms oh my god like, they'll never Man, know the, the looks Mandy just Honestly. gave <laughs> like the most like serving serial killer realness yeah. like <laughs> just imagining oh my goodness so Ken Yazken of the Museum of Russian Erotica in St. Petersburg uh, claims to have purchased the the penis preserved in a wooden casket, a, a, as I said, an adorable little wooden casket mm-hmm. Yes, from two French antique dealers in the year 2000 for $8,000. That's a good deal. Yeah. It's a lot of money, but like for Rasputin's penis, like... It's a lot of money? It, worth it. Wait, How- what is eight thousand and two thousand today? I don't know. How much does a penis cost? <laughs> like- <laughs> How much does a human penis? So I just did. I just, I just quickly did the math on this. On how much a penis per, costs per inch? Per inch, his <laughs> penis, each inch of his penis was worth six hundred and fifteen dollars. See, that's cheap. Cents. That sounds cheap to me. <laughs> that's a, that's not bad. Wait, I'm gonna see what the that's conversion is rate. <laughs> conversion rate is. Eight thousand dollars in two thousand oh, is equivalent to the purchasing power of about fourteen thousand twenty-two dollars and fifty-eight cents <gasps> today. That's oh my a- god, inflation is real. Inflation 14, is crazy. 000. What was what, the rest of that number? I can't remember. Do, does anyone think some bad things happened after nine slash eleven? Yes, in flesh. That doesn't sound good. I'm. Being fucking ridiculous. Okay. Inflation. <laughs> Inflation is like a really cute name for a girl. Okay, so he 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 purchased it for like the modern okay. equivalent of like fourteen thousand like, dollars, which is like not cheap, but also like it is Rasputin's penis for a thousand dollars. Basically, yeah, a thousand a thousand seventy eight something maybe ish uh, an inch. Then, yeah. Filled it with fluid, restoring it to its full 30 centimeter glory and preserved it in a jar of formaldehyde. And I'm going to send you guys a picture. Show me. Show me. I need to see it. I'm I'm going to send you. you, I'm going to send you a fucking picture. Send me the picture. I don't know if they're going to allow this on Apple Podcasts. <laughs> I was just thinking, sure uh, they will. A few ago, like we are never going to get I'm sponsors. Just hearing, like Mandy, 
<laughs> Mandy muttering, <laughs> show, show me, show me the penis. Me. I want to see the penis. I want to see, see it. it. I want to see it so bad. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think that's that not, 13, not 13, inches. 13 inches that's what i think no oh that's soft too look at the oh pubes my God. i'm so uncomfortable about i was gonna say i'm so uncomfortable with <laughs> the amount of hair is that is so preserved much hair. on this thing what's with the second pinosi the wait what you see what at the top of the base of the dick there's like another oh there's like a hole Another I don't, know. I don't know if that's like damage yeah. or something to do with taxidermy. Yeah, or if you had to Maybe. Like cut it open. They're like, when we were up. cutting it off, what are these little patties at the back there? Those aren't balls. It's, that's the pubic mound. It's yeah. so Why? narrow. Like it looks like ball, but it's so narrow at the at but the. It's, not balls. it's so narrow that's at the like head, the pubic and mound. it's so fat at the shaft. Huh. Um. Huh. So. Okay, okay. I'm uh this this photo will not be available on Instagram. No, this one will not. Do you want to describe it in detail? <laughs> no, do not describe it in detail. You, you can, can Google, Google it, but do not <laughs> Google it no, for yourself. I don't, no. <laughs> I will not post no. this anywhere. Now that I okay, when you were like 13 inch penis, I pictured a gorgeous 13 inch mm-hmm. penis. Yeah. Now that I know that it looked like that. No, we're done here. Dead for like almost a hundred years, though. Dead for almost a hundred years. I don't believe it was any better before that. It doesn't <laughs> look a hundred years old. It looks like zero years nasty. Like so, Kanyazkin of the museum claims that he is ninety nine percent certain the penis is authentic. However, he will not have it tested, and most experts believe that it is actually. So you do not feel ninety nine percent the penis of a cow or horse. Nah. Most experts are like, "That's a cow." They're like, um, you can tell by the fact that uh, it's from a cow. Just like spots on you it. You can tell by the fact that it does not look like a human penis. Like, I was like, "Ew, that doesn't even look human." Most dick experts are like, "That is not a human dick." Um. Okay. Yeah. I love the idea of him being like, "I am like a hundred percent sure." That it's real, which is why, but I will which is why I would not get it tested. And I'm like, sounds like something mm-hmm. someone who when wasn't sure <laughs> would do. Oh my god, if I was making okay, there's this place called the um, like Center for like Scientific Inquiry or whatever, and they exist in the states. And basically, they'll give you like a hundred thousand dollars or something if you can prove you have psychic powers. So you go there and they'll give you a test and they will devise a test with you. Like, you'll be like, um, I can read thoughts. And they're like, right. So we'll have someone sitting across the room from you that we choose. Uh, and you will try and guess that person's thoughts. And if you can prove that you can do it, we'll give you a hundred thousand dollars. And they always fail. And the idea that mm-hmm. like anyone would ever be like, well, I'm just certain I can do it. And it's like, okay, so can we test it? Like, oh, this is definitely the real no. penis. I'm like, right. So you're so sure yeah. so that we can test it. And I'm like, if I had something that I knew was legit, I'd be like, let's test it so I can get my fame from this. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, like the dick experts believe that it's not a- an actual human dick. Um, and this they guy, got, like, can you ask 12 gay men in a room to be like, that's, <laughs> that's, that's not, not real. That's it's not, not it. <laughs> no, I can. <laughs> can Yaskin will like beef with your There's like another, I can't remember where it is, but there's like another place where like um, Napoleon's penis is preserved. Um, <laughs> uh, like actually confirmed to be Napoleon's penis. And like, because it's like, you know, a couple hundred years old and like shriveled and shit. And he wasn't a super tall guy. Like it's like one and a half inches long. Like it's it's not big. But like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dunk on him because it is like an old shriveled like Cheeto, basically. Like it's yeah. it, well, like it's not an accurate representation of what it looked like in its full glory. But like Kenyaskin will no. like dunk on it and be like, his penis was only 1.5 inches, mine is 30 centimeters. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, <laughs> your fucking horse dick that you have in formaldehyde. And like my friend, <laughs> my friend Tammy, that I like told this story to, who was a nurse, she was like, but it's like like the penis is like stretchy and like fills with fluid and you can kind of like choose how big you want to make it if you're just 
filling it with fluid. Like, no, so yeah. it could be anything. Like, like, as someone who has met hundreds of dicks, they can be like nothing and then everything. Yeah. Like yeah. Some people are five you know, growers, not showers. Because you're just oh, like, filling it with fluid. It's like, it's not supposed mm. to be anything. Like, yes, being hung is like, it's supposed a to go away when you don't need for it. For like a soft <laughs> dick. But like, the whole point is that you don't get kicked in it. Yeah. Like, the, the whole thing is supposed to just like retract you're supposed until to be able necessary. To tuck it away. That's so like, yeah, that's the like whole biological advantage. <laughs> like, and people are like, mm. you know, it'd be great if like everything was like huge and just like dangled. And I'm like, sounds uncomfortable and dangerous. Like, you wouldn't be able to like, st- sit yeah <laughs> which is why we as a podcast only support tiny little penises yes we are here for the growers if you were a shower um get the fuck out what are you doing <laughs> stop go talk to your doctor right now. go talk to your doctor and also hey how are you <laughs> uh so if you go to the Museum of Russian Erotica in St. Petersburg, and I think we should. I think we should take a field trip. Um, um, wait, <laughs> is that in Russia? Yeah. Um, bestie, I can't go there. Are you not allowed? Are Canadians not um, allowed? No, the gays. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Canadians. <laughs> Mandy's like reaction. Wait. Sorry. <laughs> Caitlin, I'll, like, tell, I'll tell them you're my wife. It's fine. They they will no then they'll kill us both because <laughs> that would still be gay. And they'll be like they'll be like, oh, he, <laughs> oh she's this handsome man's <laughs> wife. <laughs> It'll be like okay, so we'll either kill you or you have the option to become a young girl band that we will use to bring people into Russia. And I'm like, nar, we can't be tattoo too. Tattoo. We should. We should definitely like plan our heist movie to go over there and pretend like we're all okay. um, will, not who we no, are. Not, um, let's rob people in in a country I won't get so thrown that, in jail. So in. that we can so that we can <laughs> see uh this big old dick ourselves. But if we do that, we will have to go we'll have to go play like a little escape room esque game mm-hmm. to actually see the penis. So <laughs> according to an article by Atlas Obscura titled Rasputin was poisoned, shot, beaten and drowned, but did his penis survive? Visitors to the Ra- <laughs> visitors to the Rasputin mu- room of the museum are greeted by a life-sized figure of a darkly bearded man. Behind him there is a 5-foot tall glass case, the round uh with a round red curtain obscuring something inside. Around the perimeter of the room are a number of props and plaques. The room is broken up into stations, with each stop being a clue to figuring out what really happened to the poor man. One station looks like Rasputin's uh, bedroom with a bed and a curtain and a side table, and when you walk past it, an old-style telephone rings. When you pick it up, a voice that is supposedly Rasputin himself mumbles out a clue to his untimely demise. (laughs) Another is a table full of tinctures and concoctions, and presumably the idea is to choose the one potion that most likely poisoned him. By the time you've made it around the entire room, you're asked to push one of three possible buttons on the wall, and only one of them reveals the subject of the article. And if you push the right button, a tiny little red theatrical curtain parts. (laughs) Yes, theatrical <laughs> dick. Yes, no. <laughs> the little curtain part. <laughs> and to quote the Atlas Obscura article, when you finally figure it out, the payoff, shall we say, is huge. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, I love this, and I want it in a bathhouse for Glory Hole. <laughs> there are not enough labyrinths in bathhouses. Yeah. Like make them work make for some it. more escape rooms and and more and dick themed escape rooms, please. Everything, make more dick dick themed everything. I would say, well, okay, well, not everything. Make more dick themed everything. Like, oh gosh, you should come to LA and go to Tama Finland's house. It's great. It's a dicks I do everywhere. Love him. 
Not like actually. His house is amazing. There's just like dicks drawn on the walls. It's like photorealistic dicks drawn on the walls. It's glorious. Looking around my my room right now, like that <laughs> is just generally good decorating advice. Wait, can I fit a photo photorealistic yeah. dicks drawn <laughs> on the walls? <laughs> Looking Why? around like hmm, a dick, of, maybe some dick some over some there, dick, dick over there. Ooh. Uh, Dick, uh, dick sconces would be really some classic. crown molding, yeah. molding yeah. dick yeah so some cock molding get some of that shit like, black. <laughs> where do you guys think rasputin's penis is <laughs> where do you think it actu- now? actually is yeah in heaven do you think it's in dick heaven oh i think it's probably <laughs> like rotten in the ground somewhere <laughs> Ew, <laughs> not saying rotting <laughs> um I think all dicks go to heaven. <laughs> I love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but the most important thing that matters is all dicks go to heaven. Yeah. I think that's the real takeaway from this episode is that like, it's never okay <laughs> to steal someone's dick after they die. But we can all... We can all take comfort in knowing that if even if you do steal someone's dick after they die, <laughs> it's in a better place now. It's with God. The spirit of the cock will always reside <laughs> in, the, in the palace of heaven, <sighs> and that's that's good. And I think, and I think that's neat. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to end on that. <laughs> all dicks go to heaven. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Respect the Dead. You can follow Respect the Dead on Instagram and Twitter at underscore Respect the Dead. If you want to follow us individually, you can find our socials in the show notes. And you should check out our YouTube channels. We don't shit on dead people there as often, but still, we're making tons of cool stuff. If you enjoyed Respect the Dead and would like to support us, there's a couple of ways to do that. You can give us a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you found us. If you leave us a review, we can read it out on the podcast. Reviews are the best way for new listeners to discover the show. Give us at least five stars and then share us with a good friend who likes venting about dead people. You can also give us some money over on our Patreon. Patreon supporters get some cool bonus content like bloopers from the cutting room floor and even coming up with a fake sponsor ad that we'll read in an episode. It has to be a fake business though, not your MLM, honey. Thanks so much for listening. Join us every Monday for our next Worm Feast. I'm Kellen Conrad. I'm mainly Mandy. And I'm Hoots. Bye. 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 Bye.